it's time for another unboxing. Hey everybody, it's Ben with Team Royale here to do another unboxing today from our good friends up at Cambium Networks. And today we're introducing our newest Team Royale member. This is Aria, the Golden Doodle. Say hi, Aria. All right, let's take a look at what we got today. Here to unbox the CN Pilot E430H. So you can get a pretty good shot of it there. And here I've got double camera angles. So it's the CN Pilot E430H, it's an 80211 AC Wave 2 dual band Wi Fi wall plate access point. So let's dive right into it. So, open it up here. Uh, nice packaging, as always. So, take it out of the plastic bag here. There she sits, beautiful. Let's get all our little crumbs off of here as much as we can. So, front view, side view, looks like there's a little reset top other side we obviously have the lock there if we want to uh, if this is like hospitality we're going to be putting it in somewhere where we want to secure it uh, we obviously have that option uh, it's got a little bit of weight to it uh, not not too bad i mean it's obviously there's some heat sinking here this is all metal this is all plastic outer um, on the back you'll see ethernet one poe in uh, with a pass through and then we go to the bottom so the bottom has the pass through Let's see for our viewers there or i guess it would be that way <laughs> pass through ethernet 2 ethernet 3 ethernet 4 poe out with a 48 volt one amp um, power input so there's the physical look at the product okay so now we're looking at in the box what's in the box man all right so we got a quick start guide as always with cambium great uh Quick start guide here. Let's spread it all out. Uh, we'll go over that here in just a second. Let's get rid of a few things. Doo, 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 doo. Let's keep going deep dive into the box. Nice little Ethernet uh, pass through option there. Here is our wall plate and our screws. That's what's in the box, folks. Box is empty. Okay, let's uh, set that to the side. All right. So let's take a look. Here's what came in the box. We got some screws to mount it to a wall plate. Um, I'm told, Cambium, you can uh, let me know if you want me to add this to the unboxing. We'll do a tag on video. If you want to send me uh, the extra pieces, there's different uh, options, mounting options. You can, uh, I believe, desktop mount this. You can dual gang. I think they make a dual gang um, version of this plate. So that's an option. Um, among other things. So send me those, Cambium, if you want, and I'll take a look at those and unbox them for everybody as well. So uh, the unit itself, obviously we're going to do an installation uh, of this product, but real quick, um, just for the review, let's see, how does this look on your view? Oh, it is this way. Okay. So there we go. Um, obviously a little introduction of what you should have got in the box, a uh, little idea of how it should connect. Here's your Ethernet situation. A uh, little set screw in the bottom is what's going to hold it in. So if you see the little set screw here on that camera and on that camera, yep. So that's your little set screw. So once you put this in the plate, there's a little spot on the on the plate right there where you would uh, clip this on, and then the little set screw will set that into, into place. Uh, so anyway, it shows you how uh, that process is done. As you can see here, the dual gang, um, there's all kinds of different options here. Uh, standoff and then a wall mount. So yeah, here's all your options just like I mentioned. So there you go. Pretty straightforward uh, config. If anybody is familiar with CM Pilot stuff, obviously very, uh, very much the same as far as setting up your devices to get into it and seeing the status and everything. It's just like all your other CM Pilot uh, access points. So that is what's in the box. So we're going to install the access point here on an existing wall box that we had. Uh, with a keystone there, so thanks to Cambium for, for providing that little shorty there. So first thing we gotta do is mount the wall plate. Just uh, arrows up, as you see here. Gonna go right there with it, and I like power tools; they make life easy. Mount that. Let's 
screw on bottom. All right, so we just plug her in, feed that back. As you can see, we got a light coming online, hooks on top, slides down. And just like that, we have a nice mounted access point. Now, I don't know if I'll get my screw in on the bottom there. Probably have to use a screwdriver for that, but otherwise, nice, clean looking installation. And we'll do some testing. Hey guys, just a quick update on mounting locations. So one thing that we didn't pay much attention to when we first installed it was uh, where we originally placed the device was actually right here and it's uh, right below a thermostat you'll notice. Well that runs our heated floors and unfortunately it uh, kept our the little bit of heat that comes off of that, there is a little bit of heat, uh, kept our heated floors from kicking on properly. So we moved it um, just over here. Um, so it's just Mounted right there, you can see it um, with just a, kind of a wall mount box and connected into our network. And so far it's been running great. We use it to provide signal to our upstairs offices uh, as well as to like our back deck area. And really performance has been fantastic. We've, we've been getting great throughputs, a lot better uh, signal strengths. Uh, and on the five gigahertz, uh, it's, it's been phenomenal. We've been getting some great speed tests. So. All right, so there you have it. That's the new Cambium Network's E430H access point for uh, hospitality and other applications. Um, from my standpoint, it looks great. It runs great. 2.4, uh, 20 megahertz channel. I was getting like 40 by 40 on a speed test. Switched over to the 5 gig, 40 megahertz channel, and I was getting 250 by 250 easily. Uh, that's, again, real world test. Oh, by the way, let's just not talk about my hair. It's helmet hair from a tower job today. Let's just not talk about it. Anyway, other than that, it's a great access point, great little product. It's been running great for me. Uh, connects into Maestro. You can manage it just like all the other access points, so all those good features from Cambium. And I think it's going to be like 295 right around the same MSRP. But, as always, reach out to your distributor. Not that I'm necessarily promoting one or the other, but reach out to a distributor. Uh, you know, a good distributor that makes the Internet work can always help you out with getting pricing and more information. Thanks for stopping by, like, and subscribe as always, and look forward to the next video.